Thank you for joining us on the Ujamaa Network. We're going to be going over how to set up and create trailing stops and take profit orders on the Uphold Exchange. Once again, what we discuss on this channel is not meant to be strategy. It's not meant to give you financial advice. This is a how-to tutorial on how to do a thing. First thing we're going to be talking about is a take profit order and how to do it on the Uphold Exchange. Uphold was set up to be the one-stop easy answer for most of the cryptos in the U.S. on a centralized exchange versus a decentralized exchange, which has a whole lot more hurdles to go over when it comes to SEC and commodities regulations in the United States. This is why we're using it. This is why it's popular here. As we get deeper and deeper into crypto legislation, it is going to be imperative that these organizations, these exchanges stay on top of what the rules are so that you and I can effectively buy and trade cryptos on an open market and keep our KYC going. Let's go ahead and get into it. Once you have logged into your Uphold account, you're going to just focus in on what you have in your portfolio. These are cryptocurrencies you already own. For me, I'm just going to use Casper as an example. Again, we're not doing any strategy and we're not endorsing any one particular coin, but we're going to go ahead and select the source of Casper right there and there. That way, we know where we're getting our coins from. Whatever profit I um, earn off of the Casper that I own, I want us to convert it into a different cryptocurrency. For my takes, we're going to go ahead and select USDC. We want to go ahead and put it into our USDC. This is cashing. Now, we set the amount. Uh, we have about... $20 worth of Casper. Let's just use $10 as an example. Okay. And from that, once you entered your amount, go ahead and hit take profit. How much profit are you going to set? Now that's up to you again. Consult a financial advisor or just arbitrarily take a look at what the market is doing hither or thither. If it think it's going to go up 2%, and you just want to take a 1% profit, do that. If you think it's going up 5%, whatever the case is, set your amount here. The take profit amount for our example is going to be 2%. All right. So after a dollar, you might make a dollar two. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just going to be arbitrary. And you can set the duration for good until canceled or good until the end of the day. Or you can select a date. Let's go ahead and do that for the entire weekend. Then hit confirm. Uphold charges you a fee of 99 cents for any trade that is below $500. Above that, they're not going to charge you a fee. And that is how you set a take profit order on Uphold. Go ahead and hit your preview trade button to go ahead and preview that and you confirm the trade. And it's set. Now, the reverse of that obviously is the stop loss or the trailing stop order that you want to set in this is if you think this particular coin that you're gonna uh, place this order on is going to tank you want to minimize the amount of money you have going out so that you can maintain that profit margin now to do that just like with the uh, profit take order you're just going to go ahead and select your source again we're going to use our friend caspa as the example and you'll look at your portfolio but in the anything to anything column you're going to select the source all right and it's going to be caspa all right what's the destination go ahead and set that 
what kind of a loss are we looking at? 25%, 10%. If I lose more than $2 on this thing, I want to sell it. I'm going to set it as a trailing stop. Make sure you're looking at trailing stop, not take profit. It's on the same screen when it comes to um, the uphold exchange. Let's say 5% and hit confirm. Okay. From there, let's go ahead and put this back at $10, just like we did with our trailing stop order. It's like half of what I had in there. You preview the trade. No, there's no message about there being any uh, limit on your take stop loss orders. Go ahead and keep that good until uh, cancel and you confirm the trade. And that's how you set up a trailing stop order and uphold. Once again, we focus on the how to's and not giving you guys any kind of strategic or financial advice. We are not financial professionals. All we are, are trying to do is expose you to the ins and outs of this particular application and how to make more effective and sound judgments on how to do something versus what to do. You need to contact a financial advisor or somebody who specializes in day trading to know exactly where your limits should be at when you're making these trades and these stop orders. Make sure that you are taking care of your business. As always, all money's not good money. Watch how you spend it. Talk to you later. Leave your comments and suggestions below.